Hello, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about underscores. I actually did another video almost about the same topic, but a little bit different. Uh, so I'll try and remember to link that in the description about underscores and naming. Uh, but I wanted to clear up a common misconception about double underscore in Python. So let's jump into it. Okay, we're going to make a very, very simple class to demo what I am talking about. Oh, that's from the last video. <laughs> forgot to delete the file, whoops. Um, and we're just gonna make a class which has X and Y and assigns those two values. And um, Python doesn't have a true private, so what is typically done instead is to underscore prefix the variables. And if we run this, Python-I-M-T, interactive, Interactive run the module named T. That's what IMT is. Uh, and we make a C instance, C12. Uh, you'll see that we can still access these private variables uh, just by accessing them with an underscore. And this is the naming convention for private variables in Python. Now, this isn't always adhered to. One common example where this is uh, kind of violated is name tuples. From uh, typing import named tuple. Class NT named tuple. So if we make one of these, you'll notice that it has a few underscored methods, as dict, fields, field defaults, etc. Uh, and even though these have an underscore in front of them, they are not actually private. The reason that they are underscored here is to uh, kind of avoid the namespace of user space values. Because if you you know, for whatever reason, had an attribute called fields, then you wouldn't be able to make a name tuple because it would collide with the name tuple itself. Now, I think they probably should have you know, either double double underscore these, like two underscores at the beginning, two at the end, or you know did something else. But uh, this this works well enough. Anyway, that's unrelated to what I want to talk about today. Uh, I hear a common misconception that double 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 underscoring something makes it more private, which is not. I mean. It kind of does in that it makes it harder to access the value, uh, but that's not the intention of double double underscore. Now let me do the same thing that we did before. Uh, you'll see if we do c dot x, that works. If we see c dot double under y, uh, you'll see that it doesn't work. It doesn't have this attribute anymore. What's happened here is Python has gone uh, has undergone a process called name mangling. And if we look at c dot c underscore y. Uh, you'll, we're able to access the value. So it has prefixed this attribute here with underscore C. And this is this is where the more private comes from. Um, and this feature isn't intended to make something more private. This feature is intended for inheritance, where you may have uh, another class in this class hierarchy that may also need to store private variables uh, but not collide with anything in the in the base class. Of course, I need to actually inherit here. Uh, no super dot knit one two um, something like this. So this this subclass here may need to make its own self dot y or, or or whatever variable. And so double underscore here is a way to give a class its own namespace while still working with normal Python attribute lookup. And personally, personally, I avoid this as much as possible and for, for two reasons. One, it makes it much harder to debug because you have to remember to do this weird name mangling thing. Uh, but also, you know, a single underscore is usually good enough for me. I rarely make inheritance hierarchies, so I rarely need to have my own special namespace to store private variables. And so I just, I almost never use this functionality. Um, but anyway, I wanted to clear that up because I, I hear this echoed a lot that it's more private and it's it's really not. It's meant to be a differentiator for inheritance and making namespaces that way. I also you know, kind of showing you how to access the variables anyway, so it's it's still it's still accessible, but it's been name mangled. The the class name has been inserted in here, uh, and and the reason inheritance makes that okay is because there will be different class names. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.